Hey everyone, Jason Rogers. I'm joined with Craig Byers today. How hey, you doing, Craig? Good. How are you doing today, Jason? I'm um, well. Good. Doing another informational video, and we're going to chat through uh, what's important to have kind of checked off your list or at least be aware of when you're a tenant calling a commercial real estate broker. Yeah. So first thing I'm going to kind of chat through with you, and you're going to maybe explain the why, mm -hmm. if that's okay? Okay. So, you know, I'm looking, I'm maybe doing a a small wine shop and uh, I'm looking at some square footage, but maybe I don't know, 800 to 2000. Is that something, should I have that pinned down or that's a pretty good range? Yeah, I mean, that, that is a pretty good range. As long as you kind of have within uh, your mindset of how how big you want to go mm -hmm. or the or, or the size you need to have that helps uh, a commercial real estate broker nail down uh, potential locations for you now you don't have to have it you know the exact square footage because that might ebb and flow as you're putting your business plan together mm -hmm. but you know if you have it within 500 to a thousand square feet of okay. what you're looking for uh, that helps us uh, help you find a location okay you mentioned something there, uh, business plan. Is that something I should have in financials as well? Yes, you should kind of have a business plan outline and and probably your financials readily available. And the reason that uh, is important is because uh, a landlord that you're going to sign the lease with, they are investing in you and your business and they want to make sure that you are going to have uh, a successful business. They want to make sure that you are going to succeed uh, within their real estate uh, and obviously to continue paying them rent. Right. Uh, so that is why having Having your financials and a business plan put together is is important. It also proves to the landlord that you're serious about your business and you're serious about opening it. Sure, and uh, of course, term the length of uh, time frame you're going to lease is important, um, as well as um, what you're going to uh, when you want to get in into the space. Exactly. Uh, maybe, but maybe before. Um, actually starting to pay rent. Yep, yep. So kind of the base term of how we address it can can ebb and flow a lot of factors can cause, you know, cause longer terms or shorter terms. But kind of our industry standard, I like to say, is maybe anywhere from three to 10 years is probably expect to make that commitment within your business. Okay. Uh, as for timeline, do have an idea of when you would like to open your doors and start having customers or start having your employees go there. That, uh, that helps us decide, oh, is it going to be first generation Space or does it have to be second generation space? Mm -hmm. So when, you, when uh, knowing when you need to be with it in the space uh, helps us also choose a location for you. Okay, last one. I have a fun one. Yes. So I'm doing a wine shop and I want to be right next to the grocery store that's uh, in the center. Okay. And all these commercial brokers are asking me what my use is, but I don't want to tell them. Yep. Do I need to tell them? Uh, unfortunately, you do. And okay. the reason that is for, you know, per your example, uh, let's say you are a wine shop and you're going next to a Trader Joe's or a, or a high bee that anchors this shopping center. A lot of those, what we call anchor tenants, do have use restrictions. And okay. while you might just be a 1,000 square foot wine shop, they don't don't want to lose customers to you they want to make sure the customers are going through their wine and spirits uh, department to buy that so uh, your use does have an effect on the shopping center of the development as a whole so sharing your use with us which would remain confidential sharing your use with us does help us select a location while and tell you unfortunately you're not available to go here because of your use mm -hmm. uh, but we certainly have maybe another potential property over here that would be perfect for yep. your use. Okay, and, and with those larger anchors, they typically have a lot of use restrictions, mm -hmm. um, and even some of the, the smaller tenants as well. Yep. So, all right, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Anything else, Craig? Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call, 294-3339. Thank you. Thanks.